Yeah, it's, it was great. You know, obviously the Leinster Championship is something we take very seriously and, and, and enjoy enjoy winning. So uh, celebrations were great with family and friends, and obviously with teammates as well. So we enjoyed a couple of days and uh, just back on a training field now, ready to go for the Super Eights. I guess it is important to celebrate these these, tro these trophies as well, especially the Leinster title like that. Absolutely. Look, we, we, we know we're in a very privileged position representing the Dublin jersey and uh, we take nothing for granted and uh, enjoy every competition that we play in and want to win in every competition that we play in. So Leinster Championship is, uh, is a competition that we've enjoyed over the last number of years and, and we've been very lucky to be so successful in the last number of years also. Uh, you mentioned the focus quickly switches on though to the Super 8s uh, a few days on from the Leinster Championship, which I'm sure that was the case. Yeah, look, there's a lot of energy around the group. You know, it's been, you know, very, uh, I suppose everyone's very excited about the, the, the weeks ahead and in particular the first game. Look, this is the business end of the championship. It's the type of, type of year everyone wants to play football and uh, we're just really looking forward to the challenges ahead and in particular that first game. Now, in terms of the Super 8s, I mean, obviously they're different in, in as far as you have three games in four weeks compared to a Leinster Championship where you have two weeks between each game. How does that affect training? And I'm sure it is a bit of a different setup compared to, say, the rest of the Championship. Yeah, of course. Look, I suppose it's kind of very similar to the league. So I suppose that every team is, is prepped for it in that there's going to be games week on week or games every second week. So um, every team is prepared for it in the, in the opening months of the year. And, uh, you know, the, the squad will be utilised uh, very much so over those coming weeks. So uh, it's just important that everyone is... is is injury free and uh, you know hitting form at the right time and hopefully we can produce performances in those games. And you mentioned the squad there from your own point of view you came off the bench in the Leinster <laughs> final and, and put in an incredible performance in that 20 minutes uh, cameo that you had I guess in that game. How delighted were you with that performance and I guess that shows the fact that you were able to come off the bench and put in such a good performance to the, the strength of the panel that uh, Jim has at his, has his hand I guess. Yeah that's it look I suppose that's been the been a massive part of our success over the number, last number of years is the strength of the squad and you know it's the same again this year so look I was just delighted to get back on the field get back from injury and uh, really kind of put my stamp on it and just kind of go out and just because I love playing in the jersey love playing for Dublin and love playing Leinster finals so um, it was just another opportunity to get out and play with, with all your best friends and your teammates and uh, just it was nice that a couple of balls went over the bar but you know that's the, the strength of the squad is, is massive in Dublin and uh, you know hopefully we can all kick on from here on.